Welcome to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, as we are getting set for action in this WCHL conference clash between the Colorado State Rams and the Arkansas Razorbacks. The Razorbacks dropped a game last night. It's probably one of the best teams in this, this conference this year in the Colorado Buffaloes. They lost that game 6-1. to one. They're doing a ceremonial faceoff at center ice. But tonight, Arkansas looking to bounce back and recover against a much younger Colorado State team from last year. Alongside me tonight is Rich Sanders. Rich, uh, we have we uh, you haven't seen this team yet this year, but uh, you know, uh, judging by last night's game, you listened to the game last night. Uh, ha, ha, you know, what do you think that this team has going for it going into this game? Well, for Arkansas, they're at home. That's the big deal for them. It's their rink. They know how to play here. Uh, they're coming off a tough loss. The only goal they got was on a uh, wide open net when they got the goalie to uh, commit one way and uh, were able to get the puck in front. They've got to get more shots tonight. Uh, they'll bring the energy. They've got uh, a good-sized crowd behind them, and uh, they'll be ready to play. Hopefully maybe catch a team like Colorado State that's on the road, get them a little road weary with the legs as we open up with the faceoff. Yeah, opening faceoff coming to center ice. Landon Howells to take it there. Howellsy is going up against Ben Joseph. The center ice faceoff is taken back now by Arkansas. They'll win it. They're going to play a D-to-D pass and look one up the middle. Haddock's just going to dump one into the zone, and we're off here. Quick action here for Arkansas. They're in the offensive zone, something that they had to uh, work for last night, but tonight they seem to get off to this fast start. They're going to need to in order to uh, put this team to bed early. A big hit in the corner there by Housie as Arkansas maintains control of the puck below the goal line, finally turning it over here to Joseph. Ben Joseph tries to clear the zone. Arkansas forechecking hard, something we didn't see from them last night at all. But here comes Colorado State into the neutral zone. A nice poke check there by the 26-year-old Sean Foster. Foster can't clear the zone. Puck comes loose out front of the Arkansas net, but no dice. Rio Virgo and Golden Knight for Arkansas. Standing guard of the net right there in his crease, standing straight up as Arkansas looks to break out. They'll fire an errant pass to the far side of the ice, coming all the way down. No icing here. They wave it off. Diedrich in goal now for CSU. The Rams with Diedrich in goal. Arkansas with Virgo. Rams looking to work it out of the neutral zone. Rio comes out of his net. Virgo just plays one off the sideboards and down the ice. It's going to trickle down. It's going to be played there by the CSU defenseman Miller. Noah Miller here plays a D to D pass across. Goes just wide. Arkansas four checking here, trying to steal the puck away on the near side boards now into the neutral zone, and the puck gets dumped back into the CSU zone. They're having a tough time breaking out as Noah Miller recovers for CSU. The Rams tying it up along the far side boards in their own zone. Trying to break out. Arkansas tries to dump it back in. That was Brown. It's chopped at there by the CSU player and a nice back check there by Delisle. Delisle can't get it out of the zone or get it into the zone, and Arkansas will have to retreat. De La Guardia giving chase. He was a healthy scratch last night, getting the start tonight. Back the other way comes Hill. He'll dump one high into the air over the goal mouth and behind the net. Finally picked up here by CSU. Coming the other way is Grayson North. He'll send one to the far side, comes all the way down the ice, and the icing is whistled, even though Virgo came out of the net. And we're going to have actually, looks like they're going to bring the face off into the, they're going to try to bring the face off maybe back out to center ice because of the errant whistle there. Virgo came out of the net to play. I didn't see a, an icing call yet this game. Even the uh, call where you called the errant pass, that was a play where I think Arkansas just wanted to make a change. They look sharp here early. They don't look like a team that uh, I listened to last night that got beat 6-1. to one. Face off going to be one back for Arkansas. They're looking to uh, play it on ahead. And it's going to be Foskey in his own zone. Foskey makes a nice stopping move, flips it high into the air to center ice. It's gloved down there by North. And dumped back in. Arkansas picks it up here, and it's going to be played with a high stick. 17.41 to go in the first period. Early action. Arkansas has gotten the better chances so far, even though they haven't had a shot. Not really any chances, but just the better of play. They're doing everything right. They're clearing the puck. They're getting it out without icing it. Uh, and they're checking the puck carrier. Stop the puck. That's uh, you know just a fundamental of the game, and they're doing a good job. Looks like they might have had a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart last night after uh, the 6-1 loss to Colorado. Face off to the left of the goaltender for Arkansas. It's going to come back out to CSU. Quick shot's going to be sticked aside. First shot of the game comes two and a half minutes in. Sign Shotty trying to break it out. Now it's going to be Arkansas playing it back off their backboards. 
And looking to get out of the zone of Stovall. He makes a toe drag move, loses the puck, comes out to Chotty. Chotty to center ice. Centering pass gets broken up here. And back the other way comes Kasiria. Kasiria has started tonight for CSU. His pass goes Aaron, and Arkansas picks it up here. That's Foster. Sean Foster, D to D pass to DeGuire. DeGuire looking to poke it ahead. He loses it in his own zone. Does a good job of recovering, but Foster didn't get enough wood on it, but he recovers in front of his own net to pick up the puck there for Arkansas. Loose pucks abound, and Foster tries to chip one out of the zone up the boards, but instead it hits the netting just above the glass, and we'll have a stoppage and a defensive zone faceoff for the Hogs. A little shaky there on a couple of uh, puck handles by the Razorbacks, but hustling to recover. You can make up for mistakes a lot just with pure hustle. Faceoff to the left of Virgo in the defensive zone for the Razorbacks. Faceoff going to be taken here by Ben Joseph. He can't win this for the buffs as Foskey comes away with it for the Hogs. It's worked deep into the zone, now picked up here by Liam Miller. Liam Miller with the puck along the boards. He plays one off the backboards. Arkansas somehow comes away with the puck, and it's a foot race. Going back the other way, trying to hustle it out there was Casado. Mike Casado, the freshman for Mansfield, Massachusetts, almost got there, but not enough speed. No, that wasn't icing all the way. Colorado State here, the opponent, uh, the Rams, you know, a lot of their, their game will be based on, uh, hey, Colorado beat these guys last night 6-1. to one. And uh, I, from what I understand, there's not any love between Colorado State and Colorado. There is not. Ben Joseph taking the face off, but Arkansas comes away with, again, a dangerous skate in front of the net there by the Arkansas defensive player. That was Cal Owens coming up the near side boards now. Oh, and that's Chris Salmon. Salmon's coming back, looking for the puck. The puck gets chipped into the zone and back the other way. Here comes CSU. They'll dump it deep into the zone. Virgo misplays it. Has to get back in front of the net, but Foskey is there to clean up. The alternate captain for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Sees the puck get fired out front. Loose. Arkansas coming back the other direction as it gets cleared all the way down the ice. Back the other way comes CSU. Holding on to the puck. This is going to be Slidem, the captain for CSU. He'll dump one into the zone. Virgo comes away with it with 16 minutes to play here in this first period. De La Guardia up the far side boards, holding on to it. Centering pass broken up by CSU, but then it's broken up again by Arkansas. Alzi steals it away, trying to get it out of his skates was the Arkansas player, but he couldn't quite find it. That was Salmon. Now back the other way. This is Ben Joseph. Ben Joseph into the zone. On the near side boards, on the outer half, there's a shot fired on the one-timer, but a nice save aside there by Virgo. Running right into traffic was, was the Arkansas player Morris. He couldn't come away with it, though. Alzi pokes it away in the near side corner, played off the boards, and Arkansas still can't clear the zone. Quick shot, fired back in, gloved down by the right-handed stick goaltender, Rio Virgo. Virgo from Allen, Texas, stands at six foot four, 205 pounds. Arkansas brought in three goalies this year. All of them stand 6'2 or taller. You like those guys that can fill up the net. He might have to uh, do a lot of that here tonight. Already Colorado State with three shots on goal before Arkansas has gotten one on Colorado State goalie Dedrick. Faceoff going to be to the right of Rio Virgo. Faceoff was uh, blown dead here by the linesman. 15-29 to play in the first period. Still no score. A very young Colorado State team fielded on this side. 16 underclassmen on the roster. Nine of them are freshmen. So Colorado State definitely going to be working to uh, figure this out. Uh, figure things out here in the early season so that they can uh, get things going down the stretch as Arkansas wins the faceoff. They break out of the zone. Pellegrino into the offensive zone now for Arkansas. Pellegrino makes a nice stopping move in the far side corner, plays it back to the point for DeGuire, who fires a quick shot, glove down, and that's the first action that Max Dax Dedrick has seen. Dax Dedrick, Dedrick, I'm sorry, from Butte, Montana. We'll go with Dedrick then. Dax, that was a nice easy save, just a nice little... Uh, Baseball pass right to his uh, glove hand. Another right-handed stick goaltender as he gets set at the top of his crease. The faceoff comes to the right of him. It's going to be Delisle to take it. He wins it back. Arkansas, a little toe drag in front. This is Delisle. He takes a shot, but a nice butterfly save, and Diedrich covers up. 15-11 to go in this first period. Arkansas with their best chance of the period so far. I'd say 3 uh, 449 into the game, and that would be qualifies the best chance. Arkansas trying to get on the board first here against the Rams. Face off to the right of Diedrich. It's going to be one ahead. Delisle centering pass couldn't find Brown's stick. 
Comes now down below the goal line. Going to be cleared aside here by Corey Taylor. The junior defenseman tries to work it up the boards, but Arkansas does a good job of dumping it back in. This is Legere on the far side. Legere can't find a man. He's going to have to play it back for DeFazio. DeFazio behind his own net. He'll bank one off the boards and find his man there, Casiria. Casiria up the far side boards. It's just banked along. Arkansas will be the first one to the puck. Picking it up here is Cal Owens. Freshman defenseman plays one back along the backboards, finds Delisle. Arkansas having a better time breaking out of the zone today as here comes Gratisar. He makes one man miss, two men miss, makes a backhanded pass. and gets gloved down there by Owens in the far side corner. Arkansas regroups. Centering pass. Gratisar lost it back to the point. De La Guardia back down low. Sign Chatty down there. Winds up a slap shot. That was Gratisar. He's saved his side there as Arkansas watches the puck clear the zone. A good shift by Luke Gratisar. And he's still on the ice. He'll clear the blue line. Now the red line. Passes one ahead. Looking for his man. Nice job by Stovall to poke one ahead, but it just got away from him as Colorado State clears the front of the net. Back in real quickly, though, is Sholin. Sholin to Stovall. Back to Sholin in front. It's stick the side. Diedrich very aware from those passes below the goal line so far as Colorado State dumps one into the zone. Virgo out of the net. He'll play one along the far side boards. Chatty plays a nice pass off the boards. This is going to be Sholin streaking up the far side on the left. He can't quite get a shot to go as it's steered aside by the goaltender. Back to the point. That's Morris. Morris whiffs on a pass and finally just dumps it down low. A smart play there as Chatty picks it up. Nice backhanded pass. Finds his man. This is Stovall on the far side corner. Back to the point, but it's broken up by CSU. They'll lift one high into the air. Picked up here by De La Guardia. Nice Defensive play, I'm sorry. That's Foster. Foster loses the puck in the neutral zone. Skating back in quickly is going to be Liam Miller. Miller is checked off the puck here. Arkansas does a good job pinning him along the boards. That's Morris. Also down there fighting for it is Colin Young. Haven't called his name this weekend. He was a healthy or he was uh, injured last night. Arkansas knocking the man off the puck. The puck comes all the way to the far side boards. Arkansas trying to come away with it, and they finally do. 12.50 to go in the first period. Puck banked along, off the glass, and all the way down the ice. Unlucked there as a defenseman was changing for Colorado State, so it was an easy touch-up. Arkansas had the other defenseman beat had there not been one changing. 12.45 to go here in the first period. The Razorbacks, with a little push here over the last couple of minutes, have taken the lead in the shots, 4-3. to three. But the face-off here will be another challenge for the Arkansas defense. Face-off going to come to the right. Of Virgo. Looks like Young standing in. He gets kicked out of the circle due to the actions of Foster there. Foster getting backed off the line. Foster talking to the ref, jawing at him. Just dropped the puck already. And he finally does. Back to the point. Quick shot's going to be saved down right there. Hit him right in the logo. Virgo had an easy save there, but it looked like it handcuffed him a little bit. So I watched that. I, you know, let's call it an altercation between two grown men because that was definitely Arkansas's <laughs> oldest player on the ice. And I guess he's saying, uh, see what happens when you do that? Your guy gets kicked out. So, you know, is the ref trying to make a point? Uh, I guess the point's made. And we'll start over again and uh, try to build on this 6-3 lead in faceoffs that Arkansas has. Alzi to take the faceoff here. He'll take it against Kyle Riley. Riley and House. It's going to be one back by CSU. Back to the point. Holding on to it there is Aquilina. He'll send one down low. Fighting for it there. A couple of stick lifts by the Arkansas defenseman Owens. He finally comes away with it. Arkansas poking it along the boards. Turnover in front, but here comes Housey. He'll just play one back to Owens, and Arkansas regroups behind their own cage. Virgo standing tall as Arkansas looks to break out. Long pass for Haddock goes wide. Haddock's going to beat out the icing. Smart play there by the captain, but he's got two, Cal uh, sorry, two Colorado State players on him in the corner. Out. Finally, up high into the air, but good job by Haddock just to play it back down. Hand pass is waved off as Colorado State touches it. Arkansas comes back the other way, and now all of a sudden, the Rams break out of the zone. They would have had a two-on-one, but they lost control of the puck. And out of the net is Virgo. Virgo behind the net fighting for the puck, but a good job to clear it aside. Jonathan Johnson had a good chance there. Arkansas steals it away. They're going to look to dump and change here. How's he the lone rusher? Against five Colorado State players, Gratisar on the ice along with DeGuire. DeGuire just dumps one down deep. It's going to be covered up here by Diedrich. I guess he didn't want to play that one out. He didn't have a whole lot of pressure on him, but with 11.37 to go in the period, Arkansas 
gets an offensive zone faceoff. Well, why can't he be like the goalie at the other end? This series, you know, he's tall. He, is he Carey Price? He just played last night. He's out here playing the puck like Carey Price. It's going to be Delisle to the right. He's going to go against Joseph. Ben Joseph. Faceoff's going to be one back and a quick shot there. His glove down. Gratisar got that faceoff win and played it immediately on net, but a nice save by Diedrich. Face off to the right of Diedrich again. Delisle in the circle. Corey Delisle going to win it back to Gratisar again. He tried a quick backhand pass, but it's broken up, and back the other way come the Rams. Rams into the offensive zone. Arkansas plays one along. It's going to be sticked into the offensive zone of Arkansas now. Trying to play it out of the zone. It's knocked down there by Joseph. Ben Joseph, former former player for Lindenwood University. Transferred. It's one-on-one -on -one the other way. The Rams get a quick shot. Nice butterfly save by the goaltender. And Virgo seeing a little bit of action here early. Arkansas to break out. This is Gratisar with the puck. This is the man they want with it. He'll wind up a shot, but his glove down easily. That one was going to go wide either way. 11 minutes left here in this first period. And quite a bit of action. I do like to watch Luke Craddock star get the puck and skate with it, and he got a shot off just a little wide of the net. But Arkansas, I, I don't think this was the team I heard on the radio last night. They looked pretty good. Definitely got their forecheck going so far as Stovall is in to take the face off. Chotty lined up right behind him, almost in a defenseman spot. The defenseman has shifted down to the wing spot. Stovall. Gets his stick lifted. A nice job there by the CSU player to try to break this out. There's a mass of players. It was moving along, but Colorado State Banks went off their backboards twice now behind their own net. Forechecking there is Sholin. Coming back the other way is CSU. They'll just dump it all the way down the ice for an icing. So 18 seconds run off after from stoppage to stoppage. We'll come down to the uh, CSU end of the ice. CSU wearing their forest green with uh, white stripes on it. Pretty basic uniform, pretty sharp though. Arkansas wearing their white tops, black pants, and white socks. They got triple stripe with red and black on it. And red numbers, Arkansas getting tied up here is Chotty. Arkansas trying to come away with the puck, but finally the Rams clear one behind their own net. Nice pass off there by Noah Miller. It's gonna be stolen away in front by Sholin, but he couldn't quite get a shot off as the Rams clear it now, they're going to get it into the neutral zone. It's getting across center ice, a quick chip pass, but he was just offside there, was Legere. Did the forehand backhand and still wasn't across the line when he chipped it back to his right wing, who had already entered. And there will be a face-off outside the Arkansas zone. Face-off will come near the Arkansas bench area, right where the door opens up. Young to take it for Arkansas. Gonna win this one back to his uh, partner there, Foskey, but it's taken away quickly by the Rams in the offensive zone. Now the Rams are gonna move one along. Foskey, a smart play to play it to the far side boards. Quick clearing pass, gonna get chipped up back into the Arkansas zone. They'll have to clear the offside, so Arkansas regroups here. That's Young makes a smart pass behind the net for the other alternate captain. That's Foskey. Long pass ahead, broken up. Arkansas gonna skate hard into the zone though. Pass gonna be played softly off the board there by Miller, and parlayed along there by the Rams player, but he couldn't quite find his man. Miller to pick it up again. He's going to backhand one along. Arkansas trying to chip it away, but he can't quite get it. Back the other way. A huge hit, but he takes out his own man, and here comes CSU into the offensive zone. No dice as they just dump it deep. Foskey patiently sends one up the far side boards. It's gloved down in the neutral zone, and back the other way comes Akalina. Into the skates of Virgo. Virgo just leaves it there for his man. Foskey going to send it back behind the net for Owens. Owens. Looking to break out. Owens, backhand, forehand, gets the puck turned over. In front, this is Jonathan Johnson. Getting checked along the board there. Owens makes up for his mistake as he pokes the puck away and gets it to Haddock. He'll send one high off the boards, and it hits a light. The light's still shaking up there. That puck went well, well high into the air. <laughs> Ceiling is probably only about 100 feet high here, if that. I'm going to go with 20, EJ. 20 and, feet. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, it two stories. Yeah, uh, maybe 30, but I'm going to say I'm closer than you and your guess of 100 there, Alex. Fit, uh, you know, feet. 
It's a game of inches. As Arkansas <laughs> tries to move it along, Howell's going to chip one along the boards. Pellegrino on the far side going to pick it up here. Outer Hash is trying to work it out of the zone and finally does. Going to be stolen away here by North. Grayson North just dumps one in for the Rams. 8.53 to go in the first period. Arkansas going to work one along. Going to find their man in a big pass all the way up. It's going to be played with a high stick is the call here. Colorado State coming into the game. They uh, Both teams on losing streaks right now. Uh, Colorado State won its first two and has not won since last night, losing to Missouri State 2-1. Uh, to one. I would expect probably the way this one started off, a low-scoring game even on this small ice. I know we talk about the small ice all the time, so we're going to try to – Try to uh, not use the word Colorado Buffaloes, not use the words uh, small ice. Uh, but Colorado State does look pretty talented here. Arkansas gets a two-minute penalty for high sticking. I'm sorry about that. It wasn't played with a high stick. High sticking here for Arkansas. They'll have to go on the penalty kill. It's played back here. They picked up and slammed along the boards there by Foster. Foster can't get out of the zone. The Rams on the power play. Minute 53 to go in that as it's just started here. It's going to be tied up along the boards. The Rams have two guys down there. They'll come away with it. This is going to be Anse. Austin Anse with the puck. He'll play one along. He finds his man. That's Southwell. Back to the point. Lining up a shot here is Southwell. He'll just send one back down low. Anse circling around to the low circle on the near side hash now. He'll send one back to the point. Quick one-timer shot. Saved down and nice rebound control by Rio Virgo. With a minute and a half to go in the Arkansas minor. First 30 seconds of the power play in Colorado State, keeping it in the Arkansas end. Gets a good chance, a shot, a clean shot, and a very nice clean save. DeFazio and Taylor, the defenseman on the ice right now. It's going to be DeFazio with the puck. He'll play one back along. That's Southwell. Southwell with the puck. Back down low, finds his man. That's going to be Joseph. Joseph skates to the faceoff dot, fires a shot blocked down there by Arkansas. They can't clear the zone, though. Anse on the near side. Anse with the puck, near side, plays it down low. Back to the point, looking for Anse streaking to the middle, but no dice. Arkansas will get a quick change here as Kritzer goes off the ice. Young comes on, Foskey comes on, and it looks like Foster comes on. Colorado State looking to set up the flying V as all five players were below the goal line. Back the other way. They'll send one down into the zone under a minute to go in the Arkansas minor. It's going to be played along the boards. Nice stick handling here by Colorado State. They'll play it back to the point. It's going to be played along here to Casiria. Casiria, quick shot. It's going to be rebounded out front, but Foskey just steers it aside into the corner. No harm, no foul. Foskey looks to clear it down the ice and does. Great play there by Jesse Foskey as Griff Slidem goes to get the puck. He'll pick it up from Diedrich here. Slide him on the ice along with Riley. Slide him, looking to work it up the boards. He's got his man on the near side boards. That's Orme. Orme plays it along, but Arkansas, good job just clearing the puck again. 15, 14, 13 seconds left now on the sign Chotty high-sticking minor. 6.56 to go in the period. Colorado State looks content just to get a rush going and set up before the man clears the box. They'll just dump one down into the zone. It's going to be picked up on the far side here by Casiria. Casiria, nice stick handling. Sends one back out front. It's loose there, and a guy's poke check by Virgo. Still loose. Fired just wide of the net. Six and a half minutes to go. Quick shot. Steered aside. Comes out to the far side now. Pellegrino, nice hustle to the puck. Breaks up a quick chance there by the Rams. And Arkansas will look to clear the zone. That's Brown. Brown tries a nifty pass back, but it's broken up by the Rams. Brown can't find the puck. Played back along there by Legere. Legere finds his man. That's Southwell. Southwell whiffs on a pass below the goal line, but he'll regroup. It's going to be played along to the center. Quick pass in the middle. There was a trip there, but no call. Howell's back the other way. Loses control of the puck. And the Rams will regroup in their own zone. Playing one along. That's Nelson. Nelson, Nelson sends one along to Southwell. Just dumps one into the zone. Foskey in the defensive zone now for Arkansas. Arkansas. A lot like last night, having trouble breaking it out. Now Chotty gets it, though, and he'll just shovel one ahead, finds House. House does a good job of controlling it, trying to shield a man off the puck. Gets knocked to his front side as Sholin looks to keep it in the zone, and a Colorado State player on the bench touched it as it popped up into the air. Immediate regret there by that player as he slumped over the boards. And Arkansas will have an offensive zone play faceoff. Look Howes with a nice job gathering that puck so they could get it in and uh, get a chance for the Razorbacks. Razorbacks also look good in about the last 90 seconds of that penalty with a couple of clearances. 
uh, keeping Colorado State to just two shots that were both easily handled. Faceoff going to come to the right of Diedrich. It's going to be one back here. Arkansas, quick shot. It's going to be blocked down in front. Rebound is there. Sholin fires a quick shot. Can't find it as Diedrich. He does go to the corner, though. Chotty back to Sholin. Sholin below the goal line. Looks north and finds Owens. He'll send one over to Foskey. Quick shot going to be fired just wide of the net. Diedrich wasn't in position on that one. Arkansas had a good chance. Back the other way, though, comes Noah Miller. And Chotty steals it away in the offensive zone. Arkansas setting back up. Cal Owens just backhands one back into the zone. Smart hockey by Arkansas here. As Stovall works one on the backhand. Back to the forehand for Foskey at the point. Fires a shot. Easily saved aside by Diedrich. Near side boards now is Owens. Owens tries to chip one along. He gets pinned along the boards now. As Sholin makes a huge hit in the corner. On the receiving end of that was Slidem. He'll play one along for Miller. Miller and Slidem working it back and forth. Little tic-tac passing. Arkansas finally fights, away, fights it away from him. This top line, Sholin, is showing his worth on the um, on the forecheck. As Arkansas steals it away, a toe drag is broken up, but picked up again by Delisle, but it's just blocked in front. Delisle, a nice move to get past the man, got knocked off the puck momentarily two times. Knocked off it twice. Yeah. And then he recovered in front of the net, got a shot off, but it was blocked up into the netting by the CSU defenseman, 4.35 yep. to go in the period. That is hustle. When you get knocked off twice and you're the first one to the puck again, and he just about created a good scoring chance. Face off to the right here of Diedrich. Offensive zone face off for Arkansas. Brown looking to win it, but it's taken away quickly. And Anse is going to receive it on the far side or on the near side as he looks to break out of the zone. The Rams going to break into the offensive zone. This is going to be Joseph. Ben Joseph, quick shot, saved down there, and Arkansas recovers nicely. Good job on rebound uh, pickups by Arkansas. Quick pass is going to be knocked down in front as the Rams come away with it. The puck is loose out front of the net, but Arkansas clears it aside. Great job there by Sean Foster to knock that one aside as he'll uh, as he'll play some free safety back here and get a quick line change. De La Guardia comes on for Foster as the Rams look to break out. Neutral zone pass is broken up by DeGuire, and his pass goes Aaron. He thought De La Guardia was going to stay with him on that, and instead he almost turns it over in defensive zone. Good job by DeGuire to stick with it after that, and Arkansas comes away with it. Haddock near side, going to fire it far side, looking for Gratisar's stick. I'm sorry, that's Delisle. Delisle comes away with the puck. Two on one, Gratisar far side. Delisle got knocked off the puck, though. A great defensive play by DeFazio to break up the pass. Haddock now, near side, he'll send one along. Centering pass, looking for Haddock again. That's Gratisar, back to Brown, Brown with it. He tries to chip one over the sliding defenseman, but couldn't find it. This is, De uh, sorry, Gratisar, back to the middle, centering pass, De La Guardia far side, but he's the wrong stick hand for that. On the left side of the ice with that right stick, tough to field that pass, but Arkansas still has it, offensive zone. That's a quick shot by Gratisar, goes just wide, and the Rams clear the zone. They're going to work one back quickly. This is Stovall. Tries to toe drag around a man, but it's stolen away, and here come the Rams. This is going to be Taylor. Taylor into the offensive zone. He'll fire a quick shot. Nice save there. Arkansas on the defensive right now as Southwell controls it on the near side boards. He'll send a cross-ice pass across for uh, Aquin, Sorry, Aquilina. He couldn't find it. Tried to dump it deep. Arkansas tying a man up along the boards. They'll fight for it there with two and a half to play in the first period. Arkansas to break out. Knocked off the puck, but here comes Sholin. Sholin's got Chotty skating ahead, but misfires on his pass. Arkansas have to recover as the Rams clear their zone. 2.22 to go in this first period of action. Chotty on the near side getting uh, checked off of the puck by two Rams. Arkansas, a little neutral zone battle here. Not a whole lot of that normally. That puck hasn't left the neutral zone in some time and finally dumped down into the Arkansas zone. Giving chase there is Legere. He makes a huge hit there on Owens, but good job by Chotty. Trying to clear the zone. He passes one right into the center, and it's cleaned up nicely by Orme, and he'll score a goal. His second of the year. Orme, the points leader on the team, has four assists. Just notches his second goal to get his sixth point on the year. He played on the D3 Colorado State team for uh, – for three years until finally getting called up this year, and he's showing exactly how he can contribute. My next note was going to be the passes. You just can't make those X passes out of your own zone. The puck cannot cross the net. That was about the third or fourth puck that Colorado State has knocked down or controlled because Arkansas passed it in front of its net. Tough play there for Arkansas. 
Passed it right to him. Almost like a design play, only on the wrong end of the ice. Quick shot there by Foster. Goes high up into the air. Nice save by Diedrich. Arkansas forechecking here. They'll hold the zone. Puck comes away now. Haddock's just going to dump it deep. Howes wearily giving chase. He's been on the ice a lot this period, but Arkansas comes away with it at center ice. McGuire fires it high into the air, but is knocked down. Was looking to dump that one in. Pellegrino makes a move around one man, but can't make it around two as it's gloved down into the zone by Virgo. A minute 24 to go in this first period. Arkansas down one to nothing. Pellegrino just ties it up along the boards. That's DeGuire. He gets checked on there by Johnson. Johnson giving chase here, but Arkansas is going to come away with it. This looks like... Sorry, that's Foster. Foster does a great job of just muscling through a couple of guys. Stick handling into the offensive zone. Fires a quick shot blocker to side into the corner. Foster still giving chase. What a shift for him on the offensive. He'll have to go pick up his stick, though. Arkansas picks it up here. This is Gratisar who had to hold up as Foster was slow getting out of the zone. He got knocked over in the offensive zone, and <laughs> getting that big frame up was hard to do. Arkansas now near side boards. They're in the offensive zone. They'll just work one along, but it's taken away here by Miller. Noah Miller going to turn back, look behind his own net for help, but DeFazio's covered there. They're going to work it out of the zone. They'll flip it high into the air. Had a streaking man. Great defensive play, though, as Morris swipes it out of the air. Offensive zone is Haddock. Haddock looking for a pass, but it just, just gets up on an edge, and he couldn't get it across the crease. 15 seconds to go in the period. De La Guardia up the near side boards. Misses the stick at Gratisar. They'll try to dump one deep into the zone. Good job by De La Guardia as Arkansas takes a hit at center ice. Four seconds, three seconds now. Arkansas had a quick chance there, but we'll end the period as a shot is fired by Anse from center ice at the end of the period. Arkansas will go into this first intermission with a one-goal deficit, but I'd say they're pretty evenly matched out there. Played a great half. It, it's just that one pass, and Colorado State's just sitting on that. And we're not talking about a pass just right in front of your goal. All these passes have been 50, well, I don't know distance very well. It might have been 400 feet out in front of the goal. <laughs> but it's in your own blue area, you know, in your own zone, and you're making the pass across the middle. And I, I would hate to watch the tape and count them, but I think it's three or four times that Colorado State has picked off that pass and that last one turned into an unassisted goal. So an unfortunate bounce there for Arkansas. Bad pass out front for Chotty. Uh, it turns into a goal for Colorado State. So we'll, they'll put 18 minutes on the clock to clear the ice off. Uh, we'll be back in approximately that amount of time as Arkansas trails the Colorado State Rams one to nothing. Thanks. 
And we're back here in the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as the Hogs come back onto the ice with a 1-0 deficit. We enter the second period, the long change period. Not much of a long change here at the shoebox at the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, as the fans call those Hogs. 8-7-6-5 as the clock ticks down here on the intermission. Arkansas getting ready for the second period. A good first period for the Hogs, only holding Colorado State to one goal and having chances of their own. A nice per first period. Uh, Arkansas came out ready to play. Uh, took a lot of the action to Colorado State. I think if you just judged it uh, like you would, a uh, say, a boxing match, it'd be you'd score the round 10-9. to nine. Uh, but Colorado State took advantage of the, of the one mistake that Arkansas was uh, continuously making, which was the pass out of its own zone across the face of the net. And I don't mean right in front of the net, but just across to the, the middle of the ice. Uh, the best pass to make in those situations at any level is the easy pass. The easy pass is up the boards. That way, if uh, your guy doesn't get it, at least it's out of the zone. It's the shortest, it's the quickest way out. And Chadi found himself in a compromising position in the center of the ice. Uh, ended up staring down the man he was passing to, and it was an easy interception for the goal. Alec Orme got the goal from Pasadena, California, as the second period is underway. Arkansas looking uh, to get this face off as it's won back by Colorado State. They'll dump it in, and it's quickly on goal, but Virgo will cover it up. Time's still running on the clock here. <laughs> not really a... Not really sure what happened there. I think everybody's in order over there now. Everybody getting settled after the intermission. Got some refreshments outside. The vending machines. Faceoff will come to the right of Virgo. Arkansas. Going to block a shot down in front. Rebound comes out front, but a nice steer aside there by Foskey. Comes all the way down on goal. Diedrich will have to play it there. He'll play one off for Slidem. Slidem's going to skate it up the far side. Slidem makes a move, but a good hit by Delisle, and it's turned over in the neutral zone. Arkansas back the other way. Had a one-on-one, -on -one, but a good recovery by Noah Miller. Now onto the far side. That's Slidem. Slidem trying to come away with it. Now Anse steals it away. Anse gets knocked off the puck. Gratisar going to recover in the corner. Nice play there by Joseph as he knocks Gratisar off the puck. Joseph shovels one along. A pretty clean game on both sides. Quick shot. St stopped down in front there by Haddock. They'll break out. Delisle, a cross-size pass, gets dumped into the zone. Arkansas goes for a change except for Delisle, who gets the puck off the back of the net. He skates out front. Centering pass, but it goes. nobody is home as Housie picks it up on the far side for the Hogs. He does an interesting thing and just chips one along. Arkansas is going to have to regroup in their own zone. They'll send one on ahead. Giving chase here is Pellegrino, and he was in front of DeFazio, but they're not going to give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. If it's close, they're going to blow the whistle. They don't want anybody getting hurt out there. He out-hustled the defenseman to get back, but the uh, linesman, had, I think, had already made up his mind and given the... Uh, on a dangerous play like that, I think they're going to go ahead and uh, blow that whistle. Pellegrino looked like he was going to beat him out, but no dice on that. 18.41 to go here in this second period of play. Colorado State leads. They'll win the faceoff back. Quick shot's going to get tipped just wide of the goal. Picked up here by Orme. The goal scorer sends one back along. This is Riley. Riley has a man at the point. Waiting for it there is North. Instead, he sends it back down low. Below the goal line now. Back to the point. This is going to be uh, North. He'll send one back down low. Picked up here by Riley. Slow play by Colorado State. Finally taken away by Arkansas. Tries a fancy play off the board, but it's stolen away by Johnson. Centering pass all the way to the other side. And what a save. Another centering pass. Clear to side. DeGuire on the goal line. Makes a nice job. But Colorado State maintains possession. Far side of the ice. They'll fire a quick shot. Nice job by Housie to get in front of that one. Haddock just plays one off the boards. Finds Housie. Housie, instead of turning it up ice, turned it back behind the net and turned the puck over. Arkansas had an easy chance to break out there and instead will have to, <laughs> to uh, sit back in their own zone again. Another centering pass on the doorstep was Orme, but he couldn't put it home. Coming back around the net, Colorado State. A lot of pressure here early on. Back to Aquilina at the point. He'll send one back down low. This is Riley. Riley to Aquilina, but he loses control. Comes to the neutral zone. Arkansas staring at the bench, ready to get a change. They got five guys standing. Colorado State does get a change. They'll send one all the way down, high of the net. Racing for it there is Laguerre. He'll lose the puck, though, in Pellegrino. Number 11, skating up the boards. He'll send one high into the air, all the way down the ice. Beating it out is going to be Sholin. Nice, nice wheels there but it's stolen away by the Rams. 
They'll make some nice tic-tac passing into the neutral zone. They'll just send one down deep. Coming out of the net to play it there is the Arkansas goaltender, Virgo. He'll play one up the far side board. Arkansas centering pass broken up at center ice, but taken back by Sholin. I'm sorry, this is Stovall. Stovall plays it off the boards. Diedrich comes out behind his net to play this one to the far side boards. Arkansas picks it there, up there on the outer hash. Fighting for it now is De La Guardia. He gets knocked hard off the puck. A nice hit there by Slidem. He'll send one into the bench area, and Arkansas will have an offensive zone faceoff. First time in the game tonight, uh, Colorado State, or either team, Colorado State began and started to show some signs of buzzing around the net there, uh, getting their offense in gear a little bit. And uh, Arkansas surely does not want to give up a second goal. Southwell, Taylor, Nelson on the ice, along with Legere. One back by Arkansas. Quick pass to the point. Held in at the blue line. Quick shot there. Goes just wide of the net. That was Alec Morris. He'll hold the blue line again. Sends one back down low. Gets lost in the skates of Stovall. And recovering quickly is going to be Slidem. Slidem gets knocked off his feet by Stovall. Holding onto it on the far side. Stolen in front by Stovall. Winds up a shot. And it's stick just high of the net. Nice save by Diedrich. As Morris just plays one along the boards. Sholin now with the puck. Near side hash. Centering pass to, to Stovall. What a save. Dax Diedrich. Comes away with the save, and they'll clear the zone. Legere up the boards. This is Taylor. Back to Legere. Fires a quick shot, cutting down the angle. On the other end is Virgo. Back and forth action with 16.02 to go in the second period. Arkansas with their best chance of the game as Stovall posted up in front and had a good chance, but a better save by Diedrich. Diedrich, 1-1, one 2016-17 one, WCHL All-League first team. He was 16-8-3 last year with a 3.00 goals against average. Very impressive. Showing why he was the first league all-teamer as that shot goes just wide on the faceoff. Arkansas looking to work it ahead. A great pass. This is going to be Cazado into the offensive zone. Fires a low shot. It's handled nicely there by Diedrich. They'll steer it aside as DeFacio just clears it high into the air. A couple of skates getting tangled up as Arkansas touches up on the icing. Owens was there first. Cal Owens skating lazily back now. Face off into Colorado State in. That seeing eye pass almost created a breakaway opportunity. Not seeing many of those this year so far. People aren't able to get behind the defenders who have an easy time getting back if they're positioned correctly. Delisle to take the face off against Davies. Win this one back to the point. Arkansas, quick shot. DeGuire fires it. It's going to be steered aside. Rebound is there, but it's going to come, come to the corner here for the Rams. Rams looking to clear out of the zone. A pass went up the boards. It's stolen away momentarily into the Arkansas zone. Coming around the boards is Kassiria. Kassiria gets knocked off his feet there, and Arkansas clears the zone. They got a streaking Gratisard. He couldn't quite get a stick on the puck. He'll be in the offensive zone, though, as the icing is waved off. Delisle now on the far side boards, along with Gratisar. A couple of Colorado State players there fighting for it, along with them is Hinchliff. Arkansas here. McGuire just looking to play it back to the point. But Brown will have to watch as Davies takes it into the offensive zone. He'll play one gingerly along as Arkansas picks it up. Brown with just under 15 minutes to play in this first period. It comes all the way down the ice. Icing is called. Brown looking for the outlet pass again for Delisle, but nobody home. So Brown will have to stay on the ice along with Delisle and Gratisar. This line's been out there for a minute now. Just mentioned the uh, lack of breakaways and had one uh, pretty much a sure breakaway. If we just catch the pass, get the pass on the stick in a second one there, that the pass was too hard and we had to tag up before we got the puck creating the icing. Quick face off one here by the Rams. They're going to take it behind the net. This is Anse. Anse going to shovel one along, finds his man down in the corner. Centering pass broken up there by DeGuire. He'll skate it behind the cage. McGuire for Arkansas gets broken up here by Anse. Anse is getting it out front. Goes off the stick of Virgo back behind the net. Nice play. Arkansas now watches the Rams skate it out toward the center. Quick shot's going to be blocked down by his own man in front. Anse got in the way of that puck. No icing here. 14-19 to go in this first period. Skating behind the net is Aquilina. Plays one off the boards. Finds North. North near side boards pass. Gets picked off. Arkansas plays it along. That's Foskey. It's tipped up by the glove of Housie, but Arkansas will have to check a man along. Finally dumped into the Arkansas zone. Owens is going to pick it up there on his backhand. Now his forehand. Backhand's one along behind the net. Foskey 
near side boards, looking for Pellegrino. He tips one along. He's got Haddock streaking into the zone. Haddock on his backhand on the far side boards, outer hash. Haddock still trying to gain control of the puck. It's blocked down there. Nice play by the defenseman Miller. Arkansas into the zone. It's going to get stolen away momentarily, but a good defensive play by the Arkansas defender, Owens. Holding on to it. Then he loses it in front of the Arkansas net. Quick shot out front. Nice save. There's going to be a penalty here on Arkansas. It's touched up by Haddock. Cal Owens had to do everything. He made the mistake again there in front, turning that puck over. I've seen that a couple of times from him this weekend. Turns the puck over. Uh, quick pass back out front, back and forth. Joseph passed it along, found his man Johnson in front, but Johnson gets tripped up on the play, and Arkansas will have to go a man down for two minutes. A penalty you have to commit there. The, the man was going to get in. They made the goal. They'd made the, uh, they'd made the pass. The goal was open on the other side. You've got to make that play, and uh, hopefully Arkansas can kill off the penalty and kill off the mistake. Got to reposition the net back on its moorings as – Haddock looks to take the face off to the right of Virgo. Whistle here by the linesman, telling Young to back off along with Orme. Young's going to skate ahead after the faceoff was won by Colorado State, and Haddock just dumps it down. But a nice glove down there in front of the net there by Kasiria. Kasiria lofts one back into the zone, but Arkansas does a good job of clearing. 13-17 to go in the first period, a 1-0 lead for the Colorado State Rams. And they're all green outfits tonight with the green helmets. They're going to break out of the zone, skating it up with Slidem. Slidem just dumps one down into the zone. It's going to be skating on hard there is Riley. Riley comes away with the puck. An alternate captain. They'll send one back down low. Arkansas clears the zone just barely, but it's good enough. Young thought his stick was held there, but he'll just play on. One of their better penalty killers on the ice. Good job there by Young to steal it away on the far side. Goes off the linesman, back into the zone. That's offside. Wow, Young did a really nice thing on that far side boards as he uh, stick-lifted a man, stole the puck away, looked to dump it all the way down for a change, and then next thing you know, the linesman's big leg was standing in the way. Unfortunately for Arkansas, but fortunately it created an offside. We didn't have to watch the uh, the mighty Rams come back in their flying V again. Face-off going to be taken by Ben Joseph. Lindenwood transfer. Going to win this one to the side. It's going to be picked up here by Taylor, Corey Taylor. It's knocked off his feet. Nice chase there by Haddock. Haddock giving chase again. Colorado State comes away with it. Anse in the corner. Just plays one back along. Finds his man Southwell. Southwell with the puck. Back to the point. It's going to be Taylor. Taylor across. Winding up a slap shot was DeFazio. Nice block down in front. As they clear the zone, Haddock had a breakaway the other way. It's one-on-one, -on -one, but a nice breakup by the defenseman. That was Corey Taylor. As Arkansas does clear it all the way down the ice. Just off the, to the side of the goal, it's going to be steered there by Diedrich. Diedrich sticks one along, finds his man. That's Taylor. Taylor leaves one along now. Skating up the wing is Joseph. Joseph, stick handling shot, stays with it and holds on to the puck on the far side boards. Now the outer hash, skates on along the circle. Going to send one along down deep into the corner. Picked up here by Southwell. Southwell back to Joseph. Joseph back to the point. He's got Taylor. Taylor back to Joseph. Now Anse. Anse sends one across for DeFazio. Fires a shot. Nice sliding save, though. Battle of goaltenders tonight. 11.41 to go in this first period. It's hard to get it past either of these guys. Nice positioning there by Virgo. Read the play. Got over. Was right in front. Had the net completely blocked and took that puck right in the center of his body. Arkansas going small here on the uh, penalty kill. So they bring Young back out to take the face off. He'll lose this one. Quick shot. Can't be handled there in front by Virgo. It's back to the point. Another quick shot. Stick down there by the veteran defenseman Foster. Back to the point. Held on. Quick shot. Going to be blocked down there. Nice job by Morris. Skating away with it is going to be the CSU player, Riley. In the corner. Centering pass. Broken up by Young. Young plays it down into the corner. The penalty is over. 11-17 to go in the period. We got five-on-five five hockey as Foster looks to break out. Foster, long pass ahead, goes right on goal and had to had to steer the side was Diedrich. That one kind of snuck up on him. He's finally clearing it as Riley. Riley, a long pass ahead for Orme. Orme into the offensive zone, three-on-three three here. Orme fires a quick shot, goes off the face mask, steered all the way to the corner now, picked up on the near side boards. Now to the far side corner, Arkansas. Checks the man off the puck. And it's tied up along the boards there. A couple of guys there. Sam, salmon in there for Arkansas. 
Back to the point now, and a quick shot is fired and gloved down by Arkansas. Grayson North with the shot from the point. Arkansas will get a change here. They're going to get that Chotty line back out there. Virgo again with uh, good positioning. Got to see the puck all the way. Had no problem with that one. He's really had no problem with anything except for the goal, which uh, came you know a split second after his team had the puck, and all of a sudden he's got a puck coming at him. Arkansas to take the face off. Stovall in the circle just tries to smack one ahead, but instead it's stolen away by the Rams. Cal Owens to pick it up in the corner. Arkansas holding on to it. Foskey works it along for Schollen. This is the speed line as Stovall skates it ahead. Stovall with a mean wrist shot fires it but right into the belly. Hit him right in the belly button on that one, and he's not going to miss that save. Going to have to do better to beat the all-league first-team goalie. Nice shot, though, by Stovall. You've got to start getting some pucks on the net. Arkansas being outshot, probably only slightly, but still being outshot. You've got to start getting pucks on the net, hope for a rebound. Face-offs to the left side for Arkansas, so Chotty takes those. He'll lose this one. It's going to be come, come back around for Slidem. Slidem banks one off the boards, finds his man Miller. This is Noah Miller behind the net. Noah makes a nice stick-handling move. Out front, nice pass to Taylor. Taylor almost loses it. Instead, just chips it to the side boards. Chotty. Checking on strong there. Arkansas steals it in the neutral zone. This is the line they want out there. This has been the best line this weekend. Sholin, Stovall, and Chotty. Defensive pairing. Looks like that's Foskey over here on the near side. He does a good job of just diving and clearing the zone. Foskey, though, gets back on his feet, recovers. Quick one-two passing, but it goes just wide of everybody. Arkansas going to pick it up after the Rams dump it deep again. Near side boards, Arkansas to break out. Nobody on the far side as that puck goes over there, but Stovall is the first to it. Stovall, Arkansas, trying to break out of the zone with nine and a half to play in the first period. Pass goes off of Chotty's stick. He'll get a change here. Arkansas just dumps it into the zone. High off the glass, that one bounces back out front. Picking it up here is going to be Kasiria. And this faceoff is going to come outside the zone. It's going to come all the way down to the Arkansas end. Must have been an illegal procedural play. Maybe a high stick there by Arkansas. Brings it all the way back down. Faceoff going to be the right. Joseph to take it. He'll win it back. Quick shot by DeFazio at the point, but gloved down again by Virgo. Virgo, for how tall he is, it's amazing he can get that low to make those saves. And he is aggressive. I like, you know, even uh, joked in the first period how he got behind the net and wanted to mix it up and make a pass. But I, you got to like that in a goalie. Face off to the right of Virgo. It'll be taken by Haddock. Sorry, that's Brown. Anse comes away with it for Colorado State. He's going to try to power one pass. Virgo, Virgo with that strong right pad. And now they're mixing it up in front of the net. 9.09 to go in the period. Two men go to the ice. And the linesman quickly collapses to join the pile. First bit of the rough stuff we've seen in this game. A real cleanly played first uh, 30 minutes, first half of the game. Uh, that one, uh, you know, anytime you get close to the goalie, that's like uh, – Danger Will Robinson. you got to get out of there or you're going to pay a price, and there's about three Arkansas Razorbacks who want to put a shoulder into you, and one of them is going to the penalty box. Two, uh, this is going to be coincidental minors. Looks like it's going to be a couple of the smaller guys, Liam Miller, 5'8", 150, and Alex DeGuire, 5'6", 165. Together. Two, two minutes for pushing and two minutes for pushing back. A <laughs> couple of the smaller guys going to the box, scrapping in front. Definitely packing a punch, both of them on that. Four on four hockey now. As two minutes go to the on the clock with 9.09 to go in this second period. Colorado State with a 1-0 edge over Arkansas. Arkansas wins this faceoff. They'll take it behind their own net, looking to clear the zone here, and they do. Foster clears it out, and a good job by Gratisar to skate this one into the zone. Gratisar on his backhand, centering pass, looking for Foster. The net comes off its moorings. That net is still off its moorings, but back the other way comes Anse. Austin Anse with the puck. He leaves the net off the moorings down here on this end. Two on one. Gratisar steals it away. He's got Delisle streaking. He's going to send one off the boards. And, oh, just ahead of it was Corey Delisle. He knew it, too. He wanted it. 
That puck slowed up just at the last second as Delisle was entering the zone, was going to have a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. A little breakaway action there. Back and forth, two-on-one going one way and almost a one-on-0 -on going back the other. 8.41 to go in the period. That was a bit of a mess with uh, the goal being off the moorings down here. I mean, if Arkansas gets it down here, you got to blow it dead almost immediately. As it is, Arkansas will have to uh, have a defensive zone faceoff. Faceoff going to be one back. Picked up here by Arkansas. Cal Owens gets tied up in a nice hit there. In the corner by the Rams player, but Arkansas clears the zone momentarily. Coming back the other way is Aquilina. He'll play one down low. This is Taylor. Corey Taylor in the corner now. He gets mixed up there with Foskey, and Sholin comes away with the puck. Sholin passes back down for Foskey. Foskey to clear the zone. He's going to skate it himself. Going for a skate. Just chips one down into the zone. It's stick down there by Diedrich. A nice no-look pass, but nobody home for Arkansas, and back the other way comes Taylor. Taylor into the zone. He's got Miller with him. Quick shot's going to be blocker to side. Goes off the half boards. Arkansas sees the puck loose in front. Stolen away here. Quick shot's going to be fired by Taylor, but it's blocked down again by Virgo. Back to the corner. That's Taylor. Taylor getting checked there by Stovall. Sholin and Foskey able to stand alone in the middle. Tied up along the board. Stovall is there. Comes back to the point. They're going to find Nelson. Nelson has a man on the near side. Miller. Noah Miller fires a shot. Tries to go five hole. But no dice. That's not going to happen against Virgo. He's had the bottom covered. He's uh, covers pretty much the whole bottom of the net when he goes to that butterfly. Uh oh! Somebody messed with uh, Chris Stovall, and Stovall goes for a skate right next to that bench. Stovall led the team in penalty minutes last year, and it wasn't even close. Chris Stovall, 98 penalty minutes last year, had a couple of disqualifications. I was here for. Uh, he does. He is not afraid of anybody. That's the kind of guy you want on your team. A little bit of an instigator sometimes, but on that in that case, somebody getting after his goalie, he wasn't having that. And I'm sure he'll have words for him next time he comes out. Arkansas sees the puck come back behind the net. This is going to be Morris to break out up the near side. Still four on four for 15 more seconds. They'll dump one deep into the zone. Deidre gets a stick on it and lets it float into the corner. And a huge hit in the corner there. That was Southwell. Laying the body on Haddock. Southwell skates out with the puck now. He gets a stick lifted from behind. Nice play by Housie. Near side boards. Haddock couldn't control it. Stolen away at the blue line. Quick pass into the center. Shot's going to be fired. Blocked down. Nice block in front by De La Guardia. A healthy scratch last night. Doing a good job getting position there. Back to the point. Five on five hockey is a quick shot is fired by DeFazio and saved by that glove again for Virgo. 6.54 to go in the second period. A one nothing lead. Virgo having to be a lot more active this period, having to make a lot of saves. None of them uh, uh, real tough saves, but Colorado State's put 12 shots on the net here in this period after uh, only 10 in the first period. Face off to the left of Virgo. Brown gets tied up there, and Colorado State comes away with the puck. Now it's tied along the near side boards into the corner. We play back along. Arkansas looking for it. They'll play it out for Gratisar. Gratisar has a man streaking far side. Delisle. Delisle on his backhand. Has a man in the middle. He said he's going to load up a shot. Sends one to the center. Just misses the stick of Gratisar. And about five hands in front of us go, go wheeling upwards. A good chance for Arkansas. A nice pass by Delisle, but it turns out that a, a left-handed stick would have been nice in the middle there. That is a bouncy pass. If it just uh, Those are hard to control, and it bounced right over the stick. Luke Gratisar was standing in the middle, and that's the guy they want with the puck. All-time D1 Arkansas leader in points, the junior. A well-designed play, just the execution wasn't quite there. Base off one back to Noah Miller. The send one along, but good steal here by Arkansas. Quick shot from the point by Foster. Rebound is steered into the corner. Diedrich does a good job with that rebound. Knows exactly where they're going, and back the other way. Two on two. Skating into the zone has been Joseph, but offside was Liam Miller. Well, the whistle blew, but he never brought the puck into the zone, but uh, it was the uh, anticipated offside that was called. I will say this, though. Officiating's been very good. Everything's been very good in this game. Uh, you know, the one little dust-up, which probably needed to happen. You don't, want, you don't want people gathering around your goalie 
Uh, so very well done all the way around at this point in the game. They've done good at dropping the pucks and getting the action moving and keeping it moving. Arkansas in their own zone. Cazado on the ice along with Young. Arkansas skating it in. That's Cal Owens. Flips one on goal and just giving him a snow shower was Cal Owens. <laughs> Diedrich uh, froze that puck as it was on goal. 6.05 to go in this uh, second period. Cal Owens came flying in. Got the goalie a little cold. Jersey's going to have a nice mildew smell to it when he uh, throws it in the laundry tonight. Face off to the left of him. It's going to be Young. Young wins it over. Back to the point. This is Foskey. Lays one off. Quick shot. It's going to be tipped down in front. Young can't quite get to it. Foskey does a good job of dumping it back in. Quick play back the other way. Wow, almost a breakaway, but Jesse Foskey, Johnny on the spot. And Arkansas dumps it back in. Exciting action. Great job in a diving play by Jesse Foskey again. What a shift. However short it may be, only 20 seconds long, but Jesse Foskey out there, a saved, saved couple of breakouts there by Colorado State, one of which would have been a breakaway. Arkansas playing really well. They can't get a great chance here on Diedrich, but they are getting some chances. Stovall on the ice now, along with Kyle Riley to take this face off. Riley wins this one ahead, but nobody home, and Arkansas will regroup there. DeGuire loses the puck in front of the net, an errant pass by Foster. Arkansas does come away with it below the goal line. That's Stovall. Stovall makes one stick handle. Stovall, with quite a bit of speed, sends one along. Looks for Sholin. Sholin, a little bit out of gas right now. 5.24 to go in the period, and back behind the net comes Kasiria. Kasiria's pass is Aaron. This is Chadi. Chadi, forechecking hard. Now all of the Arkansas players on that one side of the ice, they're looking to come away with it. Sholin, pinching along the near side boards. Sholin takes a big hit, picked up here by Kasiria. D to D pass to Fazio. Stick handles around Chadi. Chadi does a nice move to get back. Sholin just picking up his stick in the corner. It's five on four the other way. Sholin hustling to get back. Arkansas does a good job of stymieing that rush as Riley skates it down to the corner. He'll pass it back to the point. This is Orme, the only goal scorer tonight. one nothing. Colorado State leads just under five to play in the second. Delayed penalty on the ice. Arkansas gets six men. Quick shot by Stovall goes just wide. Now Gratisar. Stovall can't control it. Chotty looking to get to the puck, but he can't do it, and the whistle will blow. 4.36 to play in this period. Arkansas with their first power play opportunity. And a big chance here for the Razorbacks. Try to get a goal-scoring opportunity to tie this game with 4.36 left in the second period. Long skate to the bench there for Virgo as he tried to get the extra attacker on. Gets some water while he's there. Adds another water bottle to his wet repertoire behind the net. I'll skate the uh, empty one off. Foskey going to toss it over. 4.36 to play in this period. Delisle to take the face off. It's going to get tied up in the skates of the referee. Gratisar in there, Delisle in there, and Arkansas gets the better of it. Pinned along the boards there. Slide him doing a good job of knocking a man off the feet. But there's Chadi. Chadi plays it back to the point. This is going to be a quick shot by Stovall, and it goes over everything. Wow. Stovall has the most wicked wrist shot on this team. I Probably on the ice tonight. His wrists are so strong, and he somehow, <laughs> somehow sends that one over the uh, protective netting surrounding this arena. Luckily, nobody sits over there behind the net. We'll have a face-off to the right of Diedrich. Delisle to take it again. Delisle loses this one. It's going to be picked up by Slidem. Trying to come away with it, but Arkansas holds the blue line. Stovall just chips one back in. Nobody home for Arkansas. Trying to overload this side, and they can't do it. Comes all the way down. Virgo has to leave it there. They're going to leave it here for Owens. Owens is skating out of the zone. Owens. Oh, and stick handling just leaves it there. Into the zone comes Arkansas, and offside was Chotty. Chotty, I guess, didn't understand what the play was. Owens uh, getting a little fancy there, leaves the puck at center ice and ends up uh, ends up an offside for Arkansas. He lost track of where the puck was, turned right when the puck had gone left, and when he lost track of the puck and went over the uh, blue line, he was, he was in no man's land. Well, Cal was going for a skate on that one and ended up uh, – 
ended up in a bad position. He thought he was just going to carry it on in, but there was nowhere to go as uh, Colorado State set up the great wall on the blue line. Watch this. I think Colorado State's awfully aggressive on their penalty kill. Yeah, they'll send one down the ice on goal. They are uh, they are coming as far down as the faceoff dot on the penalty kill. They send one all the way up there, a diamond set here, as Arkansas skates it into the zone. They knock a stick out of one of the Colorado State players' hands. Arkansas will pick it up on the near side board. Sholin. Sholin with the puck in the corner now. They'll have to set up on D. 53 seconds left in the power play. 327 to play in the second. Back to the point is Foster. Foster plays one along for DeGuire. DeGuire. Does a nice little spinorama to get past Davies. He'll play it back down low to the outer hash, back to DeGuire at the point. He's got a shot loaded up and said passes it back down low. Looking for DeGuire at the point. It's two on one going back the other way. DeGuire's got to get back. It's just chipped into the zone. And giving chase here is Jordan Kaufman. The Castle Rock native gets swarmed by five Arkansas players. They'll skate it out of the zone. Down the wing. Getting held up there is Stovall. He'll leave one in front. Cazado fires a shot just wide. Arkansas interfering with the goaltender on that one. No goal. And no, nothing going for him. Back the other way. This is Jordan Kaufman. Into the zone. Fires a quick shot. Saved down by Virgo. Rebound out front. Nice kick save. Arkansas the other way. They got a streaker. Into the zone. Breakaway. And getting tripped up is Gratisar. This is going to be a penalty shot. And Cal Owens comes diving in after him. That's got to be a penalty shot. And Luke Gratisar is going to get a chance here, I think to tie this game up just as the penalty expires, 2.36 on the clock. Finally a breakaway that results in what should be. We'll see what happens here. They're going to clear the ice. They want to put the X up. It's going to be a trip. No penalty shot going to be awarded. Jacob Brown is absolutely baffled by that. Jacob Brown, the Arkansas captain, standing there beleaguered at center ice. Arkansas will get another penalty opportunity, another power play opportunity. Luke Gratisar wipes off his whole head as he went took a tumble right into the goaltender on that one. He was stripped pretty hard on that, had clear advantage. Should, should be a penalty shot, and that's exactly what Brown is explaining down here. Jacob Brown not happy with the call here. He's going to skate it all skate all the way to the bench to deliver the bad news to Coach Galini. 2.36 to play in the period. Arkansas, sort of a break here. They probably would have liked their best goal scorer to get a free shot on net. Either way, it's another penalty, penalty here for Arkansas power play. They'll set up at the point. Arkansas wheeling it along. This is Owens at the point. Winds up a shot, hesitates, still with it. Plays one along. Quick play set up in front. Nice triangle offense. Broken stick for Gratisar on that shot. This puck comes all the way down on the clear. 2.16 to play in the period. A minute 40 left in the Arkansas power play. Owens. Back the other way. Owens with a head of steam into the zone. Splits two men. Down low. Kicks the broken stick. Tries to shovel one along. Finds Chotty. Chotty now to the near side for, for Gratisar. Gratisar. Backhand one along. Finds his man. This is the wild. The wild back to the point. Near side. Going to be played along by Stovall. Stovall. Plays one over to Owens. Owens having some turnover issues here. Almost turns one over there. It's going to be Delisle down low. This is Chotty. Chotty to Delisle. Outer hash on the far side. Lines up in the circle. He finds Stovall. Fires a shot near side. What a shoulder save by the goaltender. He fought that one off. A minute left here in the second period. A minute, and a, I'm sorry, a minute and a half left in the second period. A minute left in the power play. Back the other way, Arkansas. This is Gratisar. Makes a move around one man into the center. This is Gratisar. Lays a pass off. We got a man out front. That's going to be Kazado who fires it off the side of the net, and it hits the skate of the goaltender. And the whole crowd gets a half stand going. They're coming back the other way. Puck gets cleared all the way down. Almost brought the crowd to their feet here at the Jones Center. One to nothing still, Colorado State. Sholin going to skate it ahead. Arkansas into the offensive zone. They're going to call an offside. Don't know about that one, but Housie's called offside on that. 101 to play here in this second period, and it's getting exciting. That shot did bring about half the crowd to its feet because uh, I think the optical illusion was it had to have gone in because they saw it come back out between the goalie's legs. The puck hit the side of the net and bounced, I think, off the back of the goalie. Goalie had his skate out into the center of the crease, and it just took the right angle off his skate. 
and bounced away from the goal crease. Arkansas with their closest chance of the game. They'll flip one into the zone. One to nothing. Colorado State leads with just under a minute to play in the period. 14 seconds left on the Leah Miller minor. Be fired back down into the zone. Arkansas to pick it up here. The penalty will expire in two seconds. Arkansas skates it out into the offensive zone. They'll tip it ahead. That's Housie. Housie giving chase on Kasiria. Kasiria behind his own net to the far side. Flips one high into the air. Gets sticked up high. Arkansas going to come away with it. 24 seconds to go in the period. They'll lay one off the board. Shulin skating into the slot to the faceoff dot. Lays one off for Howes. He just finds a quick shot. What a skate save. Diedrich again. 13 seconds. Breakout pass the other way. Gets broken up by Brown. Virgo just wants to clear it to the sideboards. Virgo lost sight of his net for a second, was way out of position, but does a good job getting back with two seconds. Now one quick shot. No, the time expires. And he missed the net anyway. That was Corey Taylor. Got the turnover. Arkansas got a little lazy there with five seconds to go in the period and almost concedes a second goal. But the Razorbacks do hang in there. They're only down one to nothing. They look pretty good here this period. They just can't get one past the Colorado State goalie, Diedrich. Diedrich has been phenomenal so far. He keeps the shutout going into the second period. Arkansas is down one nothing. We'll see you in about 18 minutes for the third period of play. Don't go anywhere.
And we're back here at the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, alongside EJ Sanders as Richmond Sanders. Got the father-son combo going today as we are calling this action live in Springdale, Arkansas. Colorado State leads one to nothing after 40 minutes of play, but Arkansas has certainly given them all they can handle thus far. But Dax Diedrich has really been the story so far. He has. He's stopped every shot Arkansas has put on goal. I've counted up about 19 of them. Colorado State with 23 shots on goal. Uh, I, I think we can get a puck by him if, if you're looking at it from the Arkansas point of view. Uh, the shots just haven't been great. I tell you the guy to look for, though, you talked about his wrist shot earlier. And that's Stovall, Chris Stovall. He's had about three of them. One was pretty hotly contested. He didn't get a good shot at it. He's had two, though, right from this side on the left wing, bearing down on the goal. One was right in the gut of the goalie. That was just his warm-up shot. His second one was a little more to the right. I think he almost had that post in his crosshairs. Uh, if he can get off one or two more of those, I think he might be able to put one by. Faceoff will be here, taken here by Joseph. He'll win one over to Anse. Anse getting fought on there by Stovall. Arkansas will steal the puck away at center ice. DeGuire back now to Foster. Foster in front of his own net finds DeGuire. DeGuire looking to break out, just chips one ahead. Nice job by Anse, but he loses his stick. Comes back into the Ram zone. They'll pick it up there. There's going to be a delayed penalty. Diedrich clears the net. Setting up now. Now in ACHA hockey, if you score six on five, there's still a power play after that. So something to be aware of as Colorado takes it up the near side boards. Arkansas just looking to touch the puck. They're a little bit conservative right now trying to get to it. Foster's going to hustle over and touch it now. And Arkansas's penalty with 19-18 here in this first or third period, a rocky start. Not what you want to see as Alex DeGuire goes to the box for slashing. I do kind of like that rule, though. I like that they give you a chance to get a goal, and then you can have a power play. The guy who committed the penalty still has to pay his penance. It is different from your NHL and NCAA-style rule, but it's exactly what happens here. Five on four, Colorado State. They win the faceoff initially, but Jacob Brown gets in there and cleans it all the way down the ice. Cleaning out front. Colorado State, it's like running lines. They touch they touch everybody to the back wall before breaking out, and now they do. Up the near side boards, they'll dump one deep into the zone. It's going to be picked up here at the blue line. That's Aquilina. Errant pass comes all the way out, and Kasiri has got to regroup. Giving chase there is uh, Brown. Brown back-checking here. Nice stick handling by Riley into the offensive zone. Turning now is Johnson. Jonathan Johnson gets knocked off his feet. No penalty here. Quick shot going to be fired wide. First action Virgos had to see, but he didn't have to do anything with it. Sometimes that net looks a little bit smaller from out there. As Colorado State regroups at the blue line, they got it here. They're going to turn the puck over, and a good job by Foster sending it all the way down. 18.25 to go here in the period. About a minute left in this Arkansas minor penalty. Colorado State, again, everybody below the below the goal line, they'll break out. They all get ahead of steam. They're going to chip one into the zone off the back end, and a huge hit laid on by Dominic De La Guardia. Arkansas trying to fight for the puck down there in the corner. That's Morris. Three Colorado State players below the Arkansas goal line now, and they'll come away with it. Back to the point. DeFazio fires a shot, gets tipped high, and into the backboards. Nothing there for Arkansas. Attic. I'm sorry, Colorado State now with it. They'll skate one out. Back to the point to Fazio. Over to Anse. Anse fires a shot well wide of the net. It's going to be picked up here by Taylor. Arkansas laying the body everywhere. James Haddock is throwing his body all over the ice, making hits on all of these players. Skating out front. Nice block by De La Guardia. Kritzer looking to clear the zone. Puck comes out front. Still loose on the curling dot. Now it's going to be cleared to the corner. Colorado State with it. Anse is skating in. Arkansas checking hard. Good job by Kritzer and Haddock. That top uh, that top penalty kill line showing exactly how it's done out there. And five seconds left on the DeGuire minor penalty. Arkansas looks to kill this one off. I love how you describe the action to the curling dot, which I know means so much to people who watch a lot of <laughs> hockey and see a lot of curling dots on the ice. But, yes, Arkansas really kind of bringing it to Colorado State on this penalty kick. Yeah, the, the curling house is right there next to the faceoff dot in both zones. Arkansas loses this faceoff. Colorado State as the penalty expires. 
Arkansas, five on five now. They're going to pressure behind their own goal line to get this puck back. Three Arkansas players over, wide open in front. Quick rebound, two, three shots there by Jonathan Johnson, and two, three big saves by Burgo. Well, the key save was that first one. He gave up a little bit of a rebound, but Johnson just put it right in his gut. There, you know, as long as you've got good positioning, uh, even the rebound came right back out front. There was no one really there to clean up. Johnson got another couple of whacks at it, but Arkansas still within a goal. Faceoff going to be one back to the point. Quick shot's going to be fired down low. It's going to be cleared aside here by Orme. He'll find Riley. Riley stick handling, and Foskey knocks him off his feet. Brown going to come away with it, lose it in the skates of the referee, and Arkansas will finally clear the zone. Five-on-five five action here, just under 17 to play in this game. And Arkansas is offside on that one. Brown getting shoved off the puck after the whistle by Riley. Didn't like that too much, but the faceoff comes outside the Colorado State zone. It'll be on the near side. They'll drop it on that dot there. It's been a lovely day here in Northwest Arkansas. Great day for hockey. Great day for baseball. I, I just feel really good today. I don't know why. <laughs> Arkansas will lose this faceoff. Colorado State comes away with it. Arkansas laying the body at, at neutral ice. They're going to come away with it now. This is Owens. Fires a quick shot. It's going to be steered aside. A quick pass into the center. Delisle and Brown gets a shot on net, but it's kicked into the corner. Another quick shot. What a save by Dax Diedrich. Oh, my goodness. Pass to the center, and Gratisar loads up a wicked one-timer. But what a save by Diedrich yet again. That guy has been a stone wall in net. Arkansas's best chance was sneaking up on them early. Both goalies have been really outstanding tonight. Couldn't quite pick the corner. Brown going to win this faceoff to the corner. Brown sends one along the boards, giving chase his Gratisar. He'll back check on Legere. Legere with the puck, sends one along. He's got DeFazio. DeFazio looking to break out of the zone. DeFazio into the zone, fires a shot. Virgo does a good job of just watching it go wide. Arkansas pinned along the boards in the corner, giving chase there is Legere. Legere with the puck. Tied up behind the net there is Southwell. Southwell ties up the Arkansas player, Haddock. Haddock comes away with it momentarily, but now they're fighting with it in the corner. No call here. A lot of sticks flying around. Arkansas laying the body. This is Haddock yet again. Seeing him get his shoulder into people. Coming up the boards now is Arkansas. Delisle giving chase, but a good recovery by Noah Miller just to clear that one to the sideboards, and now he'll pick it up, play it off the backboards. Nobody home there. And it's going to be picked up by Stovall. Stovall leaves one there. He's got his man Foster. Foster backhands one along. He's got Gratisar. Gratisar just leaves it. That was a, an interesting play as Chotty blows a tire into the corner. I think that was under, under his own power. The fans want to call, but they're not going to get one. Back the other way comes Corey Taylor. Taylor. Leaves one off, finds Legere. Legere is just going to go get a change along with Taylor. They're going to bring a whole new line onto the ice. Five men change. Here comes Foster for Arkansas. He'll chip one off the boards ahead of steam. Foster pins the puck along. Foster with the puck. He's got Chotty out front. Just misfires on the pass. A great breakup on the back check by Sherbinen. Arkansas skates in, and that was De La Guardia firing a shot. Nice save again. Now Sholin with it. Sholin just going to try to poke one back to the point. Foster. Foster having a great game tonight as Sholin lays the body on in the corner. He takes a man to the ice. This is Stovall. Tries to pass one along. Great job by Kaufman. This is Stovall fighting for it and finally coming away with it is Aquilina. Aquilina just leaves it there for Kasiria. Play getting a little bit chippier now with 15 minutes to go. 14-30. Puck in the defensive zone for the Rams. They're looking to break out up the near side. This is going to be Kasiria. He sends one all the way down. It's on goal. Arkansas will have to cover up as checking there is Liam Miller. Miller, the Durango, Colorado native, 5'8", 150, forces the 6'4", goaltender to freeze. And another defensive zone faceoff for Arkansas. Colorado State, we were talking between periods. They've got a dynamite powerhouse uh, collegiate hockey program nearby at the University of Denver. You just know a lot of these kids probably have had some contact with players from that program, and uh, they are very well skilled. Arkansas will send one down low. Colorado State shuffles one along. Arkansas is going to steal it away. This is Pellegrino. I haven't called his name too much tonight. This is going to be Housie. Housie going to lay one back along, giving chase down in the corner. Is Haddock. Haddock does a good job breaking that up, but only momentarily. 
as North comes away with it. Alzi and North fighting with it on the far side board, still in the Ram zone. They finally break out. Anse loses control of it, but good defense there again by Nelson. Nelson sends one down the ice, paddled aside there by the Arkansas goaltender. Now Foskey behind the cage. He'll send one up the boards. Near side, Arkansas just going to break out here. Send one into the neutral zone. Halsey tries to stick handle around. A man can't quite do it. Good defense here by Owens. Owens plays one off the board. Centering pass. This is Halsey. Leaves one for Owens. Owens can't quite get past the man without losing the puck. It comes to the far side boards. Now chipped along. It's going to be Delisle who blows a tire into the corner. Picked up here. DeFazio gets knocked off the puck. Arkansas giving chase here as Foskey steps up the blue line to poke the puck away. Offside is Delisle, and we'll have... A neutral zone faceoff with 13:02 to go in this one. You know, if you would have said one to nothing after uh, after nearly 50 minutes of play, I probably would have told you you're crazy. But these two goaltenders are are absolutely battling it out right now, and Arkansas's only goal conceded was on a mistake. Goaltenders have been solid. The defense has been pretty good. Uh, both teams on their uh, penalty kills have done the good have done a good job. Colorado State centering pass out front. Shot's going to be blocked down by DeGuire. Great job. Held in at the blue line here. Going to skate it back in is Aquilina. Arkansas checking the man. That's Brown. Brown in the corner. Sends one along. Arkansas looking to clear out. He's got Delisle instead. Sends a cross ice pass looking for Gratisar. Gratisar patiently waiting. Stepping up is Cal Owens. And there's going to be a delayed penalty here on Arkansas. It's going to come down and be covered up here by the Arkansas goaltender. Delisle gives him a little bump. 12.32 to go in this period. Arkansas will have to kill off yet another penalty. Just some bad mistakes here, and DeGuire going to the box again. Second time this period. You probably for another slash. Probably yep. got to look at this, too. Like, uh, you know, this is two more minutes off the clock that you're not going to be able to tie the game. Arkansas has not generated much offense, and probably for good reason, uh, on the penalty kill. DeGuire, the only defenseman on this roster with a goal so far this season. Not a guy who's gotten a lot of penalty minutes last year, but uh, he's got four today. Pass going to be left along. Arkansas here at the point. Arkansas on the near side board, spinning the puck along. Two minutes on the power play for Colorado State. They'll play one back to the point, laying one along. Quick shot's going to be saved down. What a shot by DeFazio, but an even better save by Virgo. Virgo, no rebound on that one, and we'll have another faceoff. From Allen, Texas. Posted a 2.91 goals against average with a 9.15 save percentage in 25 games with the Jersey Shore Wildcats. That goes back to my point about Denver. While Denver is a close in proximity school to Colorado State, it's probably the closest school in the NCAA Division I that plays a high level of hockey to Arkansas. So. We're not competing for the same players, but you just know that, that that's got to rub off on the local schools up there in Colorado. It's going to be played all the way down the ice after the faceoff. Arkansas does a good job clearing the zone. Touching that goal line, here comes Colorado State. All five right up the middle of the ice in a straight line. That's got to be imposing, seeing all five of those guys skating at you full speed. Well, when they get to the blue line, they're going to be going about twice as fast as you are. So, you know, and that's the purpose of, of doing that. It's probably cost them maybe one or two uh, offensives on every power play, but it might be worth it if they can get a guy behind the defense or a two-on-one, three-on-two uh, behind the defense. I'm sure it's more effective on a larger ice as well where there's a little more space. Right now, Arkansas, all they got to do to stymie it is pretty much just hold their ground at the blue line. And here they come again. Same thing. Going to turn back. This time, Pellegrino is going to forecheck on this one. He's going to try to slash at the stick, and a huge hit played on there by Foskey. Young behind the net. He's just going to take the hit, absorbs it into the boards. He's getting uh, checked there by Johnson. A few Colorado State players down there. Only Pellegrino out front for Arkansas. He's going to cover two Colorado State players with the puck still behind the net. Foster looking to dig it out of there. He better get it back out front. Arkansas finally does. This shot's going to be fired. It's off the mask. Good job clearing it aside by Foskey. Boy, he's been on his belly a lot tonight and does a pretty good job of blocking those shots. Now across to Casiria. Loads up a shot again. It's going to be stick the side. Arkansas, huge hit by Foskey. And it's going to be picked up by Pellegrino. He makes a nice stick handle and clears the zone. Casiria gloves it down at center ice. Arkansas gets a quick change here. Only the forwards coming off. Now into the zone is Casiria with a head of steam. 
He gets checked off the puck there by Foster, who just puts him down on the ice. Centering pass out front, wide open net, goes just over it. Riley had a quick shot, but Arkansas gets lucky. They'll knock a man over. They're going to clear the ice, and now the penalty is over. Skating to the corner is Diedrich. He's going to have to play quickly off the boards. Kritzer holds the blue line. He could have got a quick shot off instead, plays it down low. Haddock down there. Arkansas pressing hard, and they're going to come away with the puck, but only momentarily as Southwell finally regains control for the Rams. They'll regroup behind their own net. Arkansas forechecking very hard now. They got little time on the clock. Maybe not desperation time just yet. No icing here. Oh, they are going to call it. Cal Owens just barely beat his man to the puck. Legere coming off the bench at a head of steam and not quite getting it done. 10.05 to go here in this third period. One to nothing lead for Colorado State. How about Fosky? Lays into Ormy down behind the boards. And what I really like about that is the hit first and then Ormy, who doesn't even flinch, doesn't go back after him. That's an easy way to make it a four-on-four. -four. He goes and plays the puck and uh, does his job. That's an experienced uh, player who's who's played a lot of hockey and scored a lot of goals. Face off to the right of Colorado State's goaltender, Diedrich. Delisle leaves the puck there. Arkansas looking to fish it out of there, but they can't do it. Miller up the near side boards gets a stick lifted. Arkansas fighting for it there is a scramble for the puck, a mad scramble now, but the Rams come away with it. Faking a pass up the board is Legere. Now he does. This is DeFazio. DeFazio on the far side hash in his own zone. He's going to skate it up the blue line. Now the red line, blue line into the zone. DeFazio to his backhand. Centering pass goes off the pad of the goaltender. A great play there by DeFazio, but it's broken up by Arkansas, and they'll regroup in their own zone. Comes all the way down the ice. Gratisar giving chase here. The puck comes out front. It's going to be steered just aside there by the goaltender. Paddled all the way to the blue line, and now Colorado State retreats. Arkansas four-checking. They've upped their four-check a little bit into the zone now. Arkansas, a quick shot by Cal Owens, looking to pick that top corner, but plenty of time to look that one into the glove was Deidre. Gratisar trying to get behind the defense. You could just hear him salivating. Well, you could see uh, exactly, you know, that's the veteran presence that you need in net as well. Diedrich, you know, some goalies don't come out to play that puck. Diedrich does a good job of just settling down, playing the puck, playing it off the boards, and uh, getting it out of trouble because if Gratisar gets it down there, he was going to be in a lot of trouble. There was nobody within 20, 30 feet of him. Arkansas loses this face off. It's going to be one here to Nelson. Nelson plays a D to D pass, finds his man north. North up the near side boards, holding the blue line is De La Guardia, but here comes Colorado State. Anse with a head of steam, backhanded shot. Goes well high. It hits a net, but the wrong net, and we'll have a stoppage of play. I'm not sure if that wasn't deflected. It might have been, but it looked like he was too far out ahead of him. Good job cutting down the angle again by the goaltender. These goaltenders are very similar. I'd like to see them go at it again tomorrow night. I don't know what the plans are, but... If well, this ends one to nothing, I'd like to see a rematch tomorrow between these two goaltenders. Very possible we might see Brock Thompson for Arkansas. He's the only one of the three goaltenders on the roster who hasn't gotten a start this weekend. Chotty going to chase it up the wing. Chotty sees a puck play down into the zone. And you're competing for a starting job. This is what you got to do, though, only giving up one goal and putting it on the offense. The onus is on this Arkansas offense to win the puck. A good hit there by Sholin. Hitting his head on the ice there was the uh, Colorado State player. A quick hand pass, no call. Arkansas gets it back to the point. De La Guardia, shot through traffic. It's rebound out front, shot by Chotty. It's loose, but a nice job covering it up was Diedrich. Oh, man, Diedrich lost that one. There was a lot of traffic in front. De La Guardia just fired a, a, a lazy wrister on net, but it was almost effective. As the puck came loose out front, Chotty had it right on his stick. I don't think he got good wood on it as that puck was on its edge. And it was an easy save for Diedrich. Ice Hogs getting their chances. You just have to wonder now as the clock is definitely against them, a factor with 8.21 to go if the Razorbacks can get enough chances to get one by. They can get one by. Momentum will totally be on their side, though. How's he to take the face off to the right? Riley there. It's going to be one back. Quick shot by Pellegrino's blocked down. Good job there. They'll turn it around the other way. Johnson can't clear the zone. And now it's going to be Kasiria. Kasiria up the near side. Arkansas just holds on to it, flips it high off the boards. It's going to be gloved down here, skating in, quick shot off the face mask, rebound out front. What a save. Kicked into the corner. Arkansas re regroups, but not in time as the Rams get another shot off. Pellegrino now on the far side 
Boards picks up the puck and clears the zone. Orme had a quick shot from the point. He was the one that skated in on goal. And the puck comes down to the Arkansas end. They're looking to clear out quickly. This is Haddock streaking up the wing, but he couldn't get a stick on it. It's going to go all the way down. No icing. DeFazio gets a stick lifted. Good job by Haddock on the forecheck. He'll just play one weekly along. That's going to be Housy. Housy back to the point. He's got his man there. So it's going to be shoveled along by Owens. Now Haddock. Haddock plays it along. Pellegrino not in position to get that puck, but Housy is. Housy back to Haddock. Haddock and Housy working it. He takes a big hit there, but coming away with it is Housy. Quick shot. Glove save. Wow. Dax Diedrich. He has impressed me every single step of the way, but much to the chagrin of Arkansas. Might have to take back what I said about seeing both goalies. Maybe uh, being an Arkansas fan, I'd prefer to see anybody but Diedrich tomorrow. Razorbacks still trail 1-0, 7.15 to go here in the third period. Face-off going to be the right of Diedrich. One to the corner by the Rams. They'll play one back along. This is going to be North. North looking to break out of the zone. He has his man. Skating into the offensive zone is Joseph. Ben Joseph with the puck. Centering pass. Shot out front. Tipped by Jesse Foskey again. Jesse Foskey has been all over the ice for Arkansas tonight. He blocks another shot. He's been getting in passing lanes. He's been pressuring the puck. What can't this guy do? You have made the case for him being the defensive standout of the game. It's not like anybody on Arkansas has been bad on defense. No. It's just Foskey has been absolutely exceptional. Face off going to be to the right of Virgo. Face off one back. This will be held there at the point and played back down low. Shoveling it along on the far side board. Stick handling in front. Quick shot. What a save. And pushing a man into the crease after that. The whistle blew before he went into the goal <laughs> in the goaltender who ended up with the wrong stick in his hand, throws the guy's stick into the corner. That was uh, Liam Miller, who was fresh in the goaltender. He's been a pest all night long down there for uh, Virgo. He ends up laying on top of Virgo. Virgo frustratingly grabs his stick and throws it into the corner. And boy, before that, boy, he showed a lot of uh, – he was, he was pretty angry just about being shoved into the net. Rio Virgo, I like his uh, – he's got some moxie. That is a good word for it as Arkansas wins this faceoff. Brown, DeGuire. McGuire in the corner. He's getting a four check there by two Colorado State players, but Brown comes away with it. He'll retreat back. He's looking for a passing lane. Instead, he's going to stick handle to center ice. He's got some room. Passes one off, but Delisle wasn't looking for it. Holding on to it now is going to be Foster. It's exasperating to watch this sometimes. Arkansas trying to take it away, but the Rams clear out the zone. Back the other way. This is Orme. Stick handles around one man. He gets tripped up. No call. Arkansas makes a good play. This is going to be Gratisar. The fans coming to their feet with Gratisar with it. Delisle now. Delisle back to Gratisar. Can't handle it on the far side. Centering pass comes out front. The puck is settling down there. Riley plays it off the boards, and they find their man, Aquilina. He tries to clear the zone. Good job by Foster. Winds up a shot. What a save. How about Sean Foster tonight as well? I mean, you can't – You, can't, I mean, it's this this Arkansas defense is better than it's been in a long, long time. Foskey, Foster, all these guys back here. I really like Foster. He's shown a lot tonight. He plays very well. That was a nice shot from the blue line, and Arkansas is going to need some uh, blue line fire, firepower to get that offense going. He's faster than he leads on as well. He's got long strides. Back to the point this is De La Guardia. De La Guardia stick handles there. Linesman is on the ground. He'll finally get back up. He skates gingerly to the sideboards. Keep an eye on him as Colorado State tries to clear their own zone. They finally get control of the puck. That's Noah Miller. Clearing it all the way down the ice. No icing. Good job there by um, sorry, by Morris as he plays one back behind the net for De La Guardia. 5.41 to go in this period and this game. One to nothing lead, Colorado State. Here comes Arkansas into the offensive zone. That's Stovall, the man you want with the puck. Sholin on the far side now. Plays it back to the point. That's De La Guardia. Shovels one along for Sholin. Sholin behind the net. Stovall posting up, up out front, but no dice as Arkansas has got to clear the zone again. Morris all the way up. They got their man Sholin. Ships on the long for Stovall. Stovall with the puck. He's going to load up a shot. Instead, plays it back down to the point. Morris loads up a shot. Quick save. Boy, he's got some quick, a quick glove hand, Diedrich does, and 
creating a lot of frustration on the Arkansas bench right now if you can't get one past an all-conference goaltender. Hedrick, not as big as Virgo. In fact, he's uh, he's probably just uh, six feet tall, even in his skates, but uh, probably has a little more quickness, covers the bottom of the net. Both goalies, like I said, they do uh, do everything pretty well. How's he to take the face off? It's kind of set up a little off center here. He'll try to play one over for Haddock. Instead, it's one by North. North plays one along. Arkansas going to steal it away in the offensive zone. Quick shot by Foskey goes off the post, but it was more the side of the net. He picked up here. Cal Owens. Owens just backhands one along. A smart play. Foskey looking to clear the zone. He's got Pellegrino near side. Pellegrino can't handle that pass. Back down into the Arkansas zone. 4.44 to go in this game. One to nothing lead. Arkansas not out of it, and they've had the better chances. Here comes Foskey. Skating up the far side wing. He goes backhand, just backhands one into the zone. Arkansas checking hard here. Going to be played off the boards there by North. Arkansas holds the line. Pellegrino, quick shot on goal. It's going to be steered aside, and Haddock's going to play one over for Howes. Howes, now North, just clears one aside, goes off the glove of Foskey, gets past him. It's going to come all the way down the ice. No hand pass is going to be called. That definitely touched his glove, but no call as Owens skates it up. He stick handles through a couple of guys, gets knocked off his feet. Nobody back for Arkansas. Finally on the change. Good job by Foster. Arkansas in the neutral zone. That's Owens off the top of the glass. Somehow stays in play. Haddock playing it back along. He's got Owens. Centering pass is broken up in front there by Joseph. Now Owens again with the puck. He tries a pass to the point. Comes all the way down on Arkansas's goal. They'll shift around and, and pass it up quickly for Housie. Housie's got it. He'll send one along. He's looking for Pellegrino, but he's out of breath. He's looking for a change. Arkansas. Holding that blue line, and they're going to keep it in the offensive zone. This is Delisle and Pellegrino giving chase there. De Pellegrino finally going to get off the ice. Arkansas stick lifting, can't get the puck away from the much larger Riley. Riley loses the puck. That's Gratisar. Gratisar tries to stick lift his man, but the puck comes all the way down to the Arkansas end. 321 to go in this game. One to nothing. Holding on to it, there's Foster. Foster's got Brown circling with him, but Foster's going to take it himself. Foster up the middle of the ice looking for Gratisar. It goes just wide of the net. No icing here. Miller is going to get pinned along the boards. He thought there was going to be an icing call, and now Colorado State has to concede a defensive possession here. Arkansas trying to steal it away on the forecheck. They got Orme up the near side boards. They instead, they find the streaker up the middle. This is going to be Johnson. Johnson with a head of steam. Backhands one. Shoulder to side. Gratisar looking to line up a hit and does. It's going to be picked up by Foster again. He's had a long shift, 2.40 to go. Foster probably looking to get off the ice here as it's sent over to the near side boards. Arkansas lucky not to get the too many men call. And Colorado State steals it in the neutral zone. 2.29 to go. This pass or this shot, this was dumped in on goal, Arkansas. Another cross center pass, little X pass across the middle of the ice. Foster still on the ice. He'll just chip one along. He finds Foskey blowing an edge there was Kaufman. Arkansas back the other way. This is Foskey. Flips one high into the air, off high off the boards. Goes back off the back of the cage. This is going to be Chotty. Haven't seen him in a while. Arkansas back on back on the defensive as Colorado State clears the zone. Back and forth we go with two minutes to go in this game. To center ice, Kaufman can't handle it. And now Arkansas regains control. Stovall almost blew a tire into the boards. He takes a small hit there as Cal Owens has it. Owens plays it ahead. He's got Sholin. Sholin somehow sticks it away from him. Break away in front. Shot just goes wide. Sholin still with the puck. Defensive player without a stick. Arkansas going to hold the line. Foskey watches as this one gets chopped up into the bench by Liam Miller and Tobias Sholin, the Umea Sweden native, almost ties this one up. Nearly 58 and a half minutes in. Another great chance for Arkansas. Haven't had many. Uh, that one, the uh, goalie had no chance on it. It's just a puck that went wide. And now Arkansas down to its final 95 seconds faceoffs. They've struggled on, especially this period. I've, uh, Colorado State with about a 3-1 to one edge in faceoff wins. And now we're going to have a timeout. Timeout is called. Woo! It's been quite a battle out there tonight for both teams. This young Colorado State team, as I mentioned earlier, I mean, 16 underclassmen 
on the roster. They've had to rebuild. They lost four of their top five point scorers from last year. This team's been around since 2008, and uh, the one thing that they got that Arkansas doesn't is the coach of the year on the bench. Jeff Degree has done such a good job with these young players. Coming into Arkansas, they only lost 2-1 to one last night to a very, very experienced Missouri State team on the road. They come in here to the Jones Center tonight. They got to adjust the smaller ice, and Jeff Degree calls a timeout, I think, at the right time in order to get his team focused for the last minute and a half of this game. I tell you, Colorado State, what I like about them, they look like, as young as they are, they haven't been a part of this program long, but they have bought into whatever it is the coach is, uh, is, is teaching them, and it's a winning program, and they play like it. They don't get flustered. They play smart hockey. Uh, they play good defensive hockey. They've got good people in good places. The goaltender has been outstanding tonight. Uh, Arkansas, on the other hand, I don't know that uh, has as much talent depth-wise, but is tenacious and uh, has played very well tonight. You know, they, they cleaned up the mistakes they were making in the first period, and there haven't been many of them. Uh, you know, there were tons of mistakes uh, the first week when we were here watching an Arkansas team play. This team plays very clean hockey. It's uh, been a great game, great goaltending. Uh, they just don't have the offensive firepower to get it past a really strong netminder for Colorado State. Arkansas going to go ahead and pull the goalie here. Six skaters on the ice, a minute 35 to go. It's a little risky to do here, but, I mean, it's something that you have to have happen. I wonder which of these two defensemen they're going to have play free safety on this one. They got Owens and Foster on the ice. My guess would be Foster. He's the more defensive of the two. And as you described, Arkansas has been strong on defense. This is putting a lot of pressure, a lot of heat on the defense to, uh, to have an empty goal that's, uh, you know, 60 feet closer than normal on a normal rink. Tons of pressure. Owens is the man in the middle at the point right now for Arkansas. They'll win it back. Foster smartly hangs on to it for a second. Owens fires a quick shot, shouldered up into the air. Arkansas will regroup. Turning here is Stove, or sorry, Gratisar. Gratisar to Stovall. Stovall to Owens at the point. He'll fire another shot. Rebound out front. Shot. Score! Arkansas! Chris Stovall! On the rebound, and Arkansas ties this game one to one with a minute 19 to go. The crowd to their feet. Owens on the assist there. Looked like Gratisar might have gotten one as well. And. <laughs> An impromptu hog call as Colorado State's timeout turns out to backfire. Virgo back in net and Arkansas with new life. Folks, we might be here well past 10 o'clock now. Arkansas sends one down into the zone after the ensuing faceoff. Nearly unstoppable all night was Diedrich. He was impassable. And now Arkansas centering pass out front. Couldn't quite get it on Brown's stick. Cal Owens holding the blue line. Arkansas dumps it back down low. Getting tied up down here is Anse and Gratisar. No call about for either of these guys. Skating it out of the zone now is going to be DeFazio. He plays it down deep into the zone. 46 seconds to play in this game. Possibly more. Blowing a tire behind the net is Stoball. He's going to regroup. Fires the one way ahead. One on one. Now two on two as Gratisar reloads. Gratisar back to the point. Quick shot by Stoball. That had to hurt. What a block there by Corey Taylor. The alternate captain takes one hard off the shin. It goes up into the netting with 30 seconds to play. How about Chris Stovall? Just the way I drew it up. <laughs> it wasn't the shot I expected, but he was Johnny on the spot and buried the puck for the 1-1 tie. Arkansas was behind for 40 minutes in this game. It'll be interesting to see now how they play in an even game. Stovall wins this faceoff back. Colorado State. We'll clear the zone. It comes down to Guire. Looking to get the puck away. He does. He sends one up the ice. It's stolen away momentarily. Down in the zone there is Riley. Kasiria picks it up. D to D pass. 15 seconds to go in regulation. Can't say in this game anymore as there might be extra time. Sholin plays one off the boards for himself. Loose puck comes out front of the Arkansas net. Five seconds. Quick shot. Blocked down by De La Guardia. I'm sorry, De Guire. Arkansas sends one on net to the other end. And we'll have overtime hockey. Just what you paid for, folks, at $5 door charge. You get some bonus hockey now. 
as the Arkansas Razorbacks come storming back. That extra attacker call with a minute and a half was the right one. It was a gutsy one. Uh, you know, it's it just any puck that gets out of your zone is uh, is destined for your goal uh, if you don't get on it first. Uh, fortunately for Arkansas, uh, took control after the faceoff, didn't ever give up control of the puck, and uh, put one in the net. So five minutes will go on the clock. They'll tick that period marker to number four. We'll have a five-minute OT. If nobody scores after five minutes, which is likely after we've seen 60 minutes of hockey and only two goals scored, we will go to a shootout. There will be three skaters aside at that point. Arkansas will probably get to choose uh, if they want to go first or not. Arkansas, that's been Galini's strategy, too, in the shootout. We're not gonna quite there yet. Want to worry about getting past this uh, overtime period. In my experience on this rink, though, Arkansas has had a uh, – had a tough time winning in overtime, and really, they play really good defense. As there's an exchange of uh, water bottles here, D Diedrich and uh, and Virgo get a quick meeting there. I thought Virgo was coming over to wish him luck here in the, uh, I, the kind overtime. Of was, I think it kind of was there as he gave him a little nod, probably telling him he's had a great game down here. Outstanding, Diedrich's been. Only goal he's given up was on a rebound. Meanwhile, on the other end, Virgo's only goal was on a mistake by uh, Sign Chatty. I just got a notification what Virgo actually said when he walked over to him was, you know, you haven't stopped one in a while. Three on three action. ACHA must have changed their rules. Because Arkansas has three on three out there. This is a little bit different. A lot of space. It's something I was not expecting, but here we go. Just like the NHL does, they do three-on-three three overtimes. A lot of space out there on this small ice. Arkansas into the offensive zone. This is Foskey. Foskey has been their defensive guy. He goes below the goal line, stick handles, wraps around. What a save on the far side by Diedrich. As the net comes off its moorings on the near side, Diedrich used that post to push off and make the save on the far side. Jesse Foskey. I, you know, he has an excellent defensive stick, but I didn't had no clue about his hands down low like that. He almost scored on the wraparound there. Arkansas, the three-on-three, three, it's all about puck possession. Arkansas gets the face-off and has possession. As long as they can win face-offs and hang on to the puck, they can't lose. Three-on-three three is about possession. Delisle wins this one back for Foskey. Foskey loses it momentarily, coming away with it now. In the corner is going to be North. North plays one ahead to himself. Two Arkansas players there checking on him. Gratisar trying to play on North. Big hit there by Foskey. Knocks North off the puck as he got a shot away. Nice save by Virgo. And now Foskey will move it up into the neutral zone. Plays one along. Finds Delisle. Delisle moving it along on his backhand behind the goal line. Now behind the net. Now wheels back around the other way. Passes one back to the point. Quick shot, tipped on net, and another broken stick. Oh, sorry, losing his stick was Gratisar. Gratisar comes away with the puck, though, as he picked the stick back up, finds the puck, snowball to Gratisar, shoots, score! Will Gratisar puts this one to bed, and Arkansas will win their first WCHL game of the year, 2-1 to one, over the Colorado State Rams. Luke Gratisar. From Stovall on the pass right into the slot, and Gratisar made no mistake. Gratisar has had a few that came to a stick earlier in the game, wasn't able to make contact, and that's a crushing loss for Dax Diedrich as Arkansas swarms the junior forward. And Pat's on the head for sure for Virgo, who uh, weathered a storm tonight. I mean, it wasn't a lot of, he made a lot of great saves, a lot of good stops. And uh, his team never led until the end here. And a uh, big goal by Gratis, our, who had just lost his stick. Stovall goes over, fights off a couple of uh, Colorado State players to win the puck. Gratis, our circles back around, comes right up the slot, gets a perfect pass, and makes the perfect shot to the right side of the goaltender. Dax Diedrich gives Virgo a nice pat on the chest as he goes through the handshake line, leading the way for the Colorado State team. Colorado State played their hearts out tonight. This young team will have to come back tomorrow and regroup after Arkansas uh, put it away late. As hockey is a 60-minute game and uh, Arkansas ends up winning 
and a little bit of bonus time. A 61-minute, nine-second game tonight, and that's two consecutive two-to-one losses for Colorado State. Now, you know, there's there's a lot of psychology to hockey and with young players, so it'll be interesting to see tomorrow night how Colorado State responds, what type of uh, – they bring the same goalkeeper out here, how they uh, – how they handle things against Arkansas after a big win for the Razorbacks. So that's our final score tonight, 2-1. to one. Arkansas comes back with little time remaining in the third period to win this game over the Colorado State Rams. For Richmond Sanders, I am EJ Sanders. From the Jones Center in Springdale, Arkansas, we'll see you tomorrow night at 730.